Hey team, are you PCSing to Fort Meade? That's really exciting. As one of the biggest employers in Maryland and one of the bigger army bases in the country, there are a ton of options for places to live. I'm Emily Howlett and I'm here to help you figure out which one is right for you. The closest option with a commute of next to nothing is base housing. I'm not gonna go too much in detail on this option, but what I will say is that typically the wait time to get into base housing can be pretty long. So let's just assume that's not your final choice. What's next? Severn is the closest to base of the group and sits about two miles away from Fort Meade. Although, as you can see here, some of Severn's borders run right along the boundaries of base, meaning that you could be at well, basically zero miles away. Severn is great if you're looking for an incredibly short commute to work, a pretty solid suburban feel, and a decent mix of restaurants and shopping options. Housing in Severn consists primarily of detached homes and townhouses, and there are also a good number of apartment complexes to choose from as well if you're not looking to buy right away. The median sales price of a Severn home is $485,000, so it's also a little cheaper than some of the other options that I'll cover. <sighs> Hanover is the next closest option. As a fairly small city, plus its little hand-shaped extension that's about five miles north of Fort Meade, it's best known as the home of Maryland Live Casino, but it's also great if you're looking for easy access to food and entertainment, a really short commute to base, and incredibly easy access to a major airport. The home options in Hanover, similar to Severn, are primarily detached homes and townhouses. Since you'll also find plenty of apartments for rent, you're pretty likely to find one that suits what you're looking for. If you're planning to buy, the median sales price for homes in Hanover is $501,000, just slightly higher than Severn. Columbia is located about eight miles northwest of Fort Meade and is tied for the halfway point of all the locations I'm covering today. It's a great option if you want somewhere fairly close to base with a good number of shopping options and music and entertainment venues, but you also wanna feel like you aren't right in a suburban center. The home options in Columbia are a bit more well-rounded considering that you can find not only detached homes and townhouses, but also condos. I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but you can also find a variety of apartment options in Columbia to suit your needs. For those looking to buy, the median sales price of Columbia Homes is $435,000. Keep in mind that while the price might seem low, it also includes condos, which tend to be a little less expensive and ultimately bring the median price down a bit. Crofton is the other halfway point of the list, just in the opposite direction of Columbia. It's also located about eight miles away, this time south of Fort Meade. This area is best if you want to be centrally located to not only work, but also DC, Baltimore, and Annapolis, and everything each of them has to offer. If you like having easy access to most, if not all major amenities, and if you enjoy a fairly quiet neighborhood vibe. Crofton Homes consists primarily of detached homes and townhomes, especially right in the Crofton Parkway Loop, but there are a few apartment complexes to choose from as well. If buying is in your future, the median sales price for homes here is just over $357,000. Crownsville is one of the further out options, located about 10 miles away from Fort Meade, but it's perfect if you're looking for somewhere that feels like a forested retreat from the suburban sprawl, as well as super easy access to recreational activities like golfing, the annual county fair, and one of the largest Renaissance festivals in the country. Homes in Crownville are pretty much exclusively detached homes, and while you aren't going to find any apartment complexes, you may still find homes for rent. If you're looking to buy, the median sales price for Crownsville Homes is $505,000. Annapolis is the furthest from base at just about 16 miles away. Annapolis is a great option if you're looking for a place to live right by the water, a charming old town, 
and tons of options for great food and shopping. Annapolis home options include detached homes, townhouses, condos, and even historical row homes. Another benefit of Annapolis is that you might even be able to find a spot to live right near the water. Additionally, there are apartment complexes aplenty here, meaning that you'll have a variety of options to choose from. If you're looking to buy in Annapolis, the median sales price is right around $610,000. So what do you think? Are any of these the right spot for you? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know more about the area, be sure to reach out and we can go over your questions. While you're here, check out some of my other videos as well. Music